In this video, you will learn how to evaluate expressions that have multiple grouping symbols, specifically expressions that have nested grouping symbols. The calculator has the parentheses keys, which you learned how to use in the basic calculations and editing video. You will use the parentheses keys to represent braces or brackets. This is shown in the following examples. In our first example, we're going to compute negative 4 times the quantity 3 subtract 5 times the quantity 8 divided by 2. So let's take a look at that. That's negative 4 multiplied by the quantity. So we need a left-hand parenthesis. 3 subtract 5 times the quantity 8 divided by 2. We're going to close that quantity, the 8 divided by 2. And since we have a left-hand parenthesis here, we need to close it at the end. And there we have it. And we hit Enter to get our answer. Now, again, this expression and the way the calculator evaluates ex this expression, it will use the order of operations. So the first thing it's going to do is the innermost parenthesis, which is 8 divided by 2. It's going to take that answer, which happens to be 4, and then multiply it by 5. So that's going to be 20. Then it's going to take 3 subtract 20, which is going to be negative 17. And then we have negative 4 times negative 17, which is what this is all equal to. And negative 4 times negative 17, it gives us a positive 68. Always remember that the calculator will use the rules for order of operations. So let's go ahead and clear the screen and go to example number 2. Example number 2 says, let's take 2 squared, subtract 3 times the quantity 2 divided by 4, subtract the quantity, 3 subtract 2 squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter that in. That's going to be 2 squared subtract 3 times the quantity, 2 divided by 4, subtract the quantity, 3 subtract 2 squared, close that quantity, and close the quantity that we started with, which is this one here. So we hit enter, and we will get our answer, which is negative 1 half. And just a quick reminder that if we wanted to convert that to a fraction, remember how you would do that? You would go to the math button hit number 1 for frac, and then hit enter. And there you have it, negative 1 half. Okay, so let's clear the screen, and we'll move on to example number 3. Now this one's a little bit more complicated because we have a grouping symbol within a grouping symbol within a grouping symbol. This says to take 3 times the quantity of the quantity of the quantity 10 times 2 plus 8 divided by 14, then that quantity is squared, subtract 8. So let's do it here. We have 3 times the quantity of the quantity of the quantity 10 times 2 plus 8, that quantity closed, divided by 14, and that quantity is closed, and that quantity is going to be squared, then subtract 8, and then close the final quantity. Here we have a nested grouping symbol, and you can see the innermost grouping symbol right here. So this quantity 10 times 2 added to 8, and then we have another grouping symbol here, so that 
answer within those grouping symbols right here is going to be squared and then finally that answer subtracted by 8 is going to be multiplied by 3. Okay, So this seems like a complicated expression but if you follow the rules of order of operations then it's quite simple and of course the calculator does it for you. So let's go ahead and hit enter to get our answer and we come up with negative 12. So let's see if we could follow what the calculator did here. It first took 10 times 2, which is 20, added that answer to 8, so we have 20 plus 8 is 28. Then it took that answer divided by 14, so 28 divided by 14 is 2. Then it took that answer and it squared it, so 2 squared is 4, then it took 4 subtract 8, which is negative 4, and then it took negative 4 times 3, which is negative 12. So this is just a few examples here that illustrated how to use nested grouping symbols. And remember that the calculator only has these parentheses for your grouping symbols, and they will represent either the brackets or the braces.